Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is my Friday favorites and flats, and also my February favorites. Since it both fell on the first day of the month, I decided to incorporate them both into one video. Okay, so I have quite a few products, and I'm just gonna get right into it. First of all, for hair, uh, I have some specifics for my hair that I've been loving. I mentioned this macadamia nut macadamia natural oil hair mask this w came two for 20 from target they had a great great deal um f so two for the price of one in their bulk section i mentioned it in my friday favorites from last week and uh hopefully some of you got your hands on this because such a great deal this is the best hair mask i've ever used i've tried several different hair masks this is the best this is definitely worth it i would always pay full price i will always repurchase this it smells so good and it literally makes your hair feel like silk afterwards. I've never used a hair mask where I've noticed right away a noticeable difference. This and coconut oil are like my two go-to things. So, absolutely been loving this this month and then that great deal. Also, another thing I don't think I've talked about, but this is the L'Oreal Smooth Intense Polishing Shampoo. Um, I picked this up. I think it's a new line from L'Oreal. It's for unmanageable frizzy hair. It smells like fruity perfume in a really good way. So the combination like this as a shampoo and then the conditioner, it is like the most glorious scent on your hair. So I, I really love this shampoo. I like the way it works. I feel like it does help with my frizz and my hair. So I really, really have been loving this. And the smell is like out of this world. And it's a pretty decent price. I just found this at Target. Next up for my hair that I have been loving for months and months now. Um, I bought this a couple of months ago, but this is one of the, this is the Numi Foreplay wand um, set. And this is the smallest, like, this is one of the smallest wands that comes as attachment. This is the tapered wand. This is what gives me these curls right here. These curls are very similar to the tutorial I did for no heat Taylor Swift inspired curls. If you did want to use heat and you don't want to sleep in rollers, this is where it's at. Um, I absolutely love this wand. Now the foreplay set is the only thing I have tried from Numi. I don't know if it's in stock right now, but it's definitely something that's worth getting. I used a discount code on it. Um, they constantly are offering discount codes, so follow them on Twitter and Facebook and you can find a discount code. Now this wasn't sent to me. I purchased this on my own and I am seriously here to say that this is like amazing so I just basically take like little pieces and wrap it around like this and then you know it comes out and then I like shake my head upside down and then spray it with hairspray so I love the way that this is and this hairstyle will seriously last me like two to three days I'm sure you could find any like smaller tapered wand if you can't get your hands on the four play set but I definitely think that the four the new me wands are worth their money I love how it's like heated all the way through and I, I notice a reduced frizz when I use my new beauty wand. One thing for my face that I've been loving, uh, this is the Michael Todd True Organics Tropical Fruit Scrub. Really nice, creamy, it's an enzyme exfoliant scrub, exfoliates without, without scrubbing, gentle enough for sensitive and acne prone skin. This has like a cream texture and little tiny beads in it. It smells like tropical fruit. Like you smell like you're at the beach when you put this on. The smell alone is amazing. It's just a really nice creamy exfoliating scrub that is very gentle. What I like about this is it's certified vegan and it's 96% 96% organic. This is for all skin types and I really I really do think it would work for all skin types. The smell is amazing and I feel like it's it's gentle enough to use daily so I've really been loving this scrub. This My month. eyes. Okay, I broke down and bought the Naked Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I didn't think it was going to be worth it, but then I kept seeing everyone do looks with it, and then everyone said, oh yeah, I use it like every day when I am doing my eye makeup, and it's like just the perfect touch. So it comes with six eyeshadows in it, from dark to the lightest. There is only 
Like if you have Naked 1 and Naked 2, there's only one shade that repeats and it's right here, it's Foxy. If you have other palettes, I think they're uh, Walk of Shame is one that repeats and some other ones. But for the most part, a lot of these are new exclusive shades to this palette. I just love it. All of them are matte in, except for this one down here. This is the only one and it's not really even matte. It's like a satin sheen. Really, really nice. Definitely worth the money. Um, I feel like these are actually a little bit more cooler tone shades than in the Naked Pit palette. This is a more cooler tone brown blending shade. This is really great. Uh, I wore this in my Friday Favorites and everyone said they love the look. I used um, a, like just I used only this palette I feel like this palette can be you can come up with a look when you're using this palette alone or pairing it with anything else that you have in your collection so this is just a great basic palette which is probably why it's called Naked Basics it's $27 and I think that is a great deal for full six full size eyeshadows if you break it down in price it's about like $4.60 or something like that per eyeshadow which is like drugstore prices so do you want six drugstore eyeshadows or do you want one palette with six eyeshadows all together in one that's awesome quality so I vote for this. I think it's a given that this past week and month I've just loved the Maybelline Vivid eyeshadow I love the Maybelline Vivid lipsticks like these things are seriously amazing. Today I am wearing Electric Fuchsia, which is new. It is a new one um, that just came out and this is the limited edition one. I'll swatch it right here. So, so pretty. It's very similar to Fuchsia Flash in the permanent Vivid collection. Now the Vivids are permanent to Maybelline's line, so you don't have to rush out and get them. They are permanent from my understanding. Um, so today I'm wearing this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in 08. This is in Fuchsia. I have that lined all over my lips. These Milani liners are amazing. They're like the creamiest liners ever. Um, but yeah, that's the Milani liner with the lipstick. So it makes it a little bit darker. Love, love, love the this, especially this Electric Fuchsia color. The other colors that I have been loving from the line are Brazen Berry, and I've worn this with from Max Girl Next Door, and that is like a light pink. So I put Brazen Berry all over my lips, and then like in the center, I put the Girl Next Door to make almost like an ombre. It's really nice, makes your lips look bigger. But I love that purple shade, so pretty. And then the other one that I have been loving is Hot Plum which is like a mixture of these two together to get Hot Plum. So really, really love specifically these three. I pretty much love every single color in, in the Vivid's line. I love the formula with these. All of them are extremely creamy. Every color is very pigmented and applies really well to the lips. So really happy. If you're interested in seeing all of these lipsticks swatched on my lips, I did do a, vi a video which I will link in the information box below. You can check that out. And also I do have a MAC lipstick dupe video that I will link below. If you're looking, I swatched like all my MAC lipsticks and found dupes for the majority of my lipstick collection. So if you're interested in finding some of drugstore dupes for um, some of people's favorite MAC lipsticks, then you can check out that video. I will try and always have that in the information box. Every day I've been wearing this Jordana Fabuliner, and it's just a really great, for like $1.99 felt tip liner. It gives a really black, per precise line. Very easy to wing it out and bring it in. This would be a great liner for beginners, a liquid liner for beginners. Um, Really, really nice, and it it lasts a long time, and 
Um, it's not waterproof, so that's the only downfall. It's not waterproof, but I don't find problems with it smudging, but it is not waterproof. So if you have really watery eyes, this might not be the best one for you. But I think if you're a beginner looking to start doing, kind of like start winging out a little bit of eyeliner, this is a great one to try, and it's really inexpensive. You can find Jordana products. Um, if you live in Texas, you can find them at some HEBs, but you can find that Jordana is sold at most Walmart. this before, but this month I have just really been loving this. Prestige. Prestige Creme de la Creme. This is in Passion Fruit. It's just like the thickest body lotion I have made, like the biggest dent in this. I think I might cry when it's over. This is, uh, it's just a whipped, creamy, very nice feeling on your skin. Very um, emollient moisturizer. I love rubbing this on my elbows, all over my hands, my legs. Um, it's just a nice little treat. You feel like you're pampering yourself and it smells so, so good. So I've really been loving this. Um, I have a code LOLA60. I don't know if it's still available, but I will link it down below to get 60% off of any Prestige products. So I will link that below and hopefully it's still available. But awesome, awesome stuff and they have really great flavors like app, Green Apple and papaya, mango, so just check out some of their flavors, but I've really been loving this. Okay, for my mascara combination for the entire month, like I don't think I have swayed from this at all, which is amazing for me. I usually like go between mascaras, like five different ones, but I have stuck with this. I have used Benefit They're Real on my top lashes like every single day. And I just really like this. I've showed it before and talked about it a million times, but it has a really great wand. I feel like it separates your lashes like really, really nice. Something similar to it in the drugstore is Maybelline's Rocket Mascara. Now, this is in waterproof, which is why I use this on my bottom lashes. Uh, I know a lot of people say that this like hurts their lash line, so if you have very sensitive eyes, then you might not like either of these mascaras. I don't have a problem with it, but I can understand you know, what people are talking about when they say that. But I just use this on my bottom lashes and I feel like it gets right in and it has the same type of bristles that, that the Benefit mascara has, but it's waterproof and I like to have waterproof on my lower lashes. So, I've been using these two together and I love them. I'm gonna dare to say something that I don't know if I've, yeah, I don't think I've ever said this. Okay, this blush is my favorite blush, ever. I have a dupe, a blush dupe video coming up that I filmed all of my high-end blushes that, and then found drugstore dupes for them, which let me just tell you right now is really hard. It's so much easier to find a lipstick dupe for, for lipsticks than, it's so much easier to be finding lipstick dupes than it is to find blush dupes because blushes are so intricate with the colors and the different sheens and the like reflectiveness. So I had a really hard time. Some of them weren't as close as I would have hoped, but I'm sure if you applied them, they would be close enough. But through that, I realized when I was swatching all my blushes, I realized this is like my favorite blush. This is the Laura Geller Balance and Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream. I got this blush a, probably like three or four months ago in a kit from Ulta. And it was the Bake Sale kit uh, from Laura Geller. And it came with a bunch of stuff and then it had this blush in it. Which, every time I wear this blush, I'm like pleased with the way my face looks and the way my cheeks look. So... I love, love, love this blush. The point of this long story is, is that I couldn't find a dupe for it. I was looking and looking and looking and this was one I couldn't find a dupe for. So when I can't find a dupe for something, I'm like, ah, oh, that is like the thing, you know? And I just love the way that this looks. It, I don't know, it just, it has a sheen to it, but it's not too shiny when applied to the cheeks. It doesn't draw attention to the pores. But it's just a really beautiful pink color and uh, anyways there was a lot of stuff that was close but nothing that was even spot on enough that I would consider a dupe so love this blush 
if you can, I don't know, like if it might, Laura Geller sometimes comes on Hot Look, so I would pay attention in the next few months for Laura Geller to come on Hot Look and for that bake sale set to be available on there because I assume that that's where it will go and I would definitely snatch it up, like for sure. I might even do it just for an extra one of the blushes and it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff that I've showed in a haul before, but love that set, so... Okay, and the last thing is this blush from NYX, and this is in Peach. And this uh, I have been wearing a lot. It's just the prettiest little baby pink color. This is close to Tarte's Doll Face. Just a really nice pink color and um, very flattering to the face. Uh, really, really have enjoyed this, and this can be found um, wherever your NYX products are sold, Ulta... They sell it at H-E-B grocery store. You guys are probably so annoyed if you don't live in Texas and you can't find stuff because I talk about H-E-B all the time because it's fantastic. So I apologize if you cannot find... If you don't have an H-E-B, I feel really bad for you. You're probably like, Ugh, that jerk keeps talking about H-E-B. But, yeah, sorry about you. But we sell NYX in our H-E-B and so I can find it there. I don't have to go to Ulta, but... I love this peach color. Also, you can try cherryculture.com. They sell NYX products at a very discounted price. Okay, so that is my February favorites and also my Friday favorites. I have been wearing basically this look and that with the Naked Basics palette and the bright lipsticks almost every single day in my hair like this. So. That is my weekly favorites and my everyday. I hope you all had a wonderful February and hope you have a great weekend. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.